Welcome back to another informative and exciting episode of podcast where we cover everything cannabis and hemp. If you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, please do so, as this will help us sustain our channel. And remember to cannabis responsibly at all times. Welcome to another episode of podcast. I'm sitting here with a very beautiful lady who's all about your animals, providing cannabis to your animals. She will explain that in a little while. I just want her now to introduce herself, to introduce herself to you guys. So, Kola, please introduce yourself <laughs> to, the, to the viewers. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Obushe. Yes. I work for Cannabis. And Obushe. Obushe, Obushe. Thank you. Mm-hmm. It's the cannabis. Yeah. Cannabis does that. <laughs> and it's true, Ben. It's the cannabis, yes. Yeah, so basically, I work for a cannabis company called Taste of Cannabis. Yes. We uh, sell and distribute cannabis infused products. Okay. Whether it be your edibles, your oils, your teas as well. And we do also um, distribute. Pet, pet, pet product. Okay. Sorry, English. It is. Yeah, but no, it's not our mother tongue. <laughs> but don't apologize. Yes. Do not um, apologize. So yes. we do sell like dog treats and oils as well. Okay. With the dog treats, they specifically for your dogs. So whether your dog is struggling with separation anxiety, arthritis, skin coating. What arthritis? Like, yeah. Dogs actually suffer from arthritis as well because they move around a lot, they lose a lot of cartilage and it tends to cause arthritis. So they struggle with pain and inflammation around their joints and stuff. Oh, okay. And so then... This is, this is CBD, obviously. Yes. Oh, it's okay. just CBD based, no THC whatsoever. Okay. You'd want to avoid THC for because the Because it's going to make your dog crazy. Yeah, obviously your dog is going to get high, but also it doesn't necessarily react the same way that it reacts to our system. as So is this them. mainly just for dogs? Can you not use it for, for, for other pets? So with the dog treats, they're specifically for dogs. Okay. However, if you do want to use it on your other pets, you can use the oil. The oil. So with the oil, it's a little bit more versatile. You can use it on your cats. You can use it on your parrots. Okay. You can use it on the dogs as well. Okay. You can even use it for um, animals as big as horses. Oh, exactly. I was about to ask yeah. that question, Hori. Don't you guys make um, uh, products for big animals? Yes, such we as, do. You know, like not these specifically, but you do get the product in our main stores. Okay. Where you'd basically find a level three oil that has 500 milligrams of CBD. Okay. With that one, you can actually use it for your bigger animals. So let's say your horses, your elephants. As long as it's a mammal, it can actually use CBD. Oh wow! So it works in that is quite plant. interesting. I'm, I'm, and, and I'm so excited about this episode because you know I've done a lot of episodes where I actually cover CBD products for us humans. Yes. Um, and the fact that there are CBD products for animals. For the animal lovers that are actually watching, you know, now they know Hore, they can actually go out there and get Definitely. It's not going to make a dog high. <laughs> Alright? It's CBD. Do research and find out what CBD is all about. It's not THC. So your dog won't be high. Definitely. And Me then... Too. Okay, that's all right. We need to like show our animals a little bit more love, yeah. especially in terms of like just staying away from the pharmaceuticals Ish. and trying to be a little bit more organic so that you know the body reacts better, you know, you avoid the side effects as well. Yeah. So that's yeah. pretty good. But I'm finding more and more people are going towards the the, the, the organic side of things, yes. you know. A lot yeah. of people are actually now derailing from uh, your pharmaceutical products. Yes. And this is the reason why cannabis is not being legalized, by the way. Because they know. Yeah, definitely. They know. They know. I feel like people are now taking the time to do their research. Yeah. So whether it be you buy the dog treats or you buy the oil, also take the time to do your research. Yeah. It's really, really good to, to do your research because you don't know in terms of branding, how they extract the products, because also they need to be careful in terms of that. Okay. Because you can't just buy anything. You buy an oil and then it has an alcohol-based extraction, which mm. alcohol isn't so good for the animals. Mm-hmm. So sometimes you need to, you know, just do your research so that you know that you're buying the right product mm. for your animal and also so that you don't you don't get this bad side. Of I agree 100%. Yeah. And then you guys don't do animal feed. Animal feed? Yeah. Like hemp. Oh no. You don't do we animal don't. feed. Oh, okay. So you don't mess that. So it's just basically yeah. CBD. Oh, yeah. okay. What what else do you think the viewers should know? Because you know, I, I've never dealt with such yeah. a product. So maybe there's questions that I'm not asking that you think that 
the viewers would be interested in knowing? So, um, so your frequently asked questions, you'd obviously get the question of, does it get my pet high? No, no your pet will CBD. not get high. <laughs> We've covered that. Yeah, it's yes. just CBD. Yeah. Also, you can also use it on your uh, dogs that are hyperactive, so your oh. dog doesn't necessarily need to be sick. Oh, okay. So if your pets are like generally super super hyperactive and you want them to calm down, you can yeah. also use it for that. As well as separation anxiety. Mm. Dogs suffer and pets in general suffer from a separation anxiety. Mm. So during the period that we were going through COVID and you were always at home and then now you're back to work. Ish. Your dog is going to go through the emotions. Yeah. You know? So you got to cater for that as yeah. well. So you can use it for multiple things. It doesn't just have to be health. Yeah. But also the emotional parts of things and just taking your time with your pets. Okay, so if you're a pet lover, or you've got a dog, and you are interested in this product, this lady over here is going to provide her details as to where you guys can get hold of her. Please do that. Yes, definitely. So if you are looking for me specifically, uh, my email address is abushasivindi8 at gmail.com. And then if you're looking for my Instagram, it's dose of B with an X, so DX of B. And then if you're looking for the product specifically, you will find it a taste of cannabis. So we have a website, www.tasteofcannabis.co.za. No shading. Yeah. Well, Do not switch off that light again. <laughs> it is low shading. Low shading anxiety. It helps with <laughs> So, um, in terms of Instagram, also we have social media, so you'd be able to find us on Facebook and on Instagram at Taste of Cannabis, Taste underscore of underscore Cannabis underscore. And yeah. On that note, please do remember to cannabis responsibly at all times. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, and share buttons below. We would also appreciate your comments. And remember to cannabis responsibly at all times.